Okay, folks, on the final stretch, this will be the last video in the Heroes of Carthage series. So this is going to be doing figures number 9 and 10 here. So this guy I've um, made a start on, done the cheetah skin wrapped around his uh, shoulders there. And the green stuff to do the ostrich plume. Um, yeah, we'll see how he goes. I think he's going to be one of the best. So these two are pretty ornate, so I've left them just as a pair on their own at the end. And uh, that's an Aventine head going on a Victrix body. And I've done the, uh, what is it? It's like a snow leopard skin underneath and then a belt uh, with a whole lot of medallions on it over the top in sort of two stages of green stuff there. So I'm hoping um, he will also be a beauty. So... Uh, back in a moment with uh, another look at how they're progressing. Right, well I got a bit of momentum up there and I didn't stop until I'd finished. So these are number 9 and coming up soon number 10. So number 9, um, he has his cheetah skin strewn over his shoulders. Uh, there's a few little differences between the model and the image. I just couldn't quite get exactly the right model with those white pterogies over the... Um, the lower part, the waist, and also he's got the two red feathers on his helmet in the image. I just thought that was going a little bit excessive on this one because the um, plumes on his helmet, the black ones, horsehair, are so ornate. It just seemed unnecessary to have the feathers, so I haven't done them. Uh, and also obviously added the shield. He just looked a bit um, like he needed something in that left hand. And likewise, number 10 needed something in his right hand. So he's got the spear there, but otherwise pretty um, true to his image, I'd say. Uh, snow leopard skin around his waist with um, buckle buckles around that. Um, bronze buckle sort of belt. And he's got an Aventine head. I'm very happy with him. So that is it. I've done the full 10. I'm pretty... <laughs> Pretty glad I've completed that project. It was a lot of fun, uh, quite a challenge, and I think ultimately came off pretty well. Um, I reckon it's time for the parade of all the champions, so stand by. Here they come. So number one, zebra skin sash, his main feature. Number two also has a zebra skin underneath his belt. Um, pretty simple figures to begin with. Number three, getting a little bit more ornate with the plume on his helmet and um, strapping around his greaves. And then we start getting the seriously cool ones. Number four, the giraffe skin uh, and the massive plume, obviously. And then number five, main feature being his crocodile skin belt, which I'm pretty happy with. It does, I just wish it was a little bit more. Maybe I need to highlight a bit more to make it stand out a bit more, but yeah, generally, I'm very happy with all of those dudes. Um, wonder what you guys think. Any particular favourites? But before we answer that, let's go to five, six to Here ten. Here comes six through ten. Number six, a bit of zebra skin action. Number seven, a bit of cheetah skin and the red um, cape at the back there. Number seven, even more cheetah, although it's a little bit hidden by the shield, unfortunately. There, you can see it maybe a bit better on the back side of him, and then uh, nine and ten. So, there we go. I will put up the usual some of those nice images from ancient Carthage and uh, uh, some photos of these last couple of guys. And if you enjoyed this and you're into ancient Carthage, well, don't despair because I've got a couple more uh, ideas for projects of similar vein with uh, sort of ten special figures that I've thinking of doing uh that'll be down the track a little bit because i've got a plenty of other reviews i've got to do in the meantime but uh that is on the card so uh you know what to do subscribe like bell button comment get involved and i will see you on the very next video very soon bye